of a series of special features to mark the 50th anniversary of victory in Europe. One of the biggest events is already underway. Kim Riley joins us now from Kent Wall House in uh, Suffolk. Thank you, Stuart. Yes, Kent Wall Hall is a magnificent moated Tudor mansion, and it's very well known for recreating in, in great detail Tudor life. But this weekend, well, things are a little bit different. They're looking back 50 years to 1945, and they're doing it in style. There's about 60 genuine 1940s vehicles here, and the odd police dog as well. 250 military personnel, everything here from Sherman tanks to anti-aircraft guns, the naffy wagon, the soup kitchen, you name it, it's here. And everyone's really enthusiastic. It looks absolutely great. Well, Kentwell Hall was actually requisitioned in the war, like many historic mansions around here. It was a transit camp, and about a thousand or many thousands of troops actually passed through. Now, I'm just wondering whether or not I can hit a lift on one of these vehicles. Shall I just, shall I just try and stick my finger out? No, I won't, get, I won't get on that one. What about this one? Do you think he'll give me a lift? All these are going up this way because I want to... Can he give me a lift? No, he can't. I want to... <laughs> no, he can't. I, I want to go and see what's happening in the house. We'll do that. And while we do that, you have a look and see what else has been going on today. This is the main dining room, and of course, it's now been commandeered by the military. It's all set out for tea. This is the officer's mess. In fact, very little of the hall is left with the family, only three rooms upstairs. And if you uh, come down with me to the kitchen of the Great Hall, you can actually see a little bit of conflict developing between the two sides. Mrs. Bridge, has there been any problem with the military moving in here? You cook for the family, don't you? Yes, I cook for Mr. and Mrs. Starkey Benson. I won't tell you no lies, sir. Sometimes it gets very nasty indeed. I mean, they're very nice people, the cooks, the army cooks, but they want to take over everything. They want the whole kitchen. Sergeant, what do you say to that? Are you taking over? No, well, the army has to eat, so um, we have to use the kitchen that's nearest to where the men are, so use it we must. That looks disgusting, Sergeant. What is that? This is um, stewed prunes. Had them for uh, dinner for the officers and uh, turning it into a puree to have with uh, semolina tomorrow. I'm very sorry I can't uh, be with you for that. Now, every, de every detail in this kitchen is, uh, is very, very real. And all the characters around about us here, they're very real too. And you really get a, a feeling for 1945. Now, let's just go outside now and see what the military are up to. Yes, outside there's a lot of drilling going on. Members of the garrison from Tilbury, Essex, the 1st Battalion, Royal Norfolks, and the 2nd Battalion, Essex Regiment, out here going through their paces and looking very smart indeed. Everything's very true through here. Let me just show you something I got from the shop. What about that? Cadbury's Dairy Milk 1945 design. I've got Patrick Phillips here, who is the owner of Kentwell Hall. You're not actually creating VE Day, are you? Creating the weeks up to VE Day, is that right? Yep, the last few days before the peace broke out, as it were, when it was unexpected in its suddenness at the end, and the war was continuing pretty normally in the last few days, although people knew it's coming to a close. So all this would have been going on? Yes, we were a transit camp here at Kentwell, before my time, I have to say, although I was a little child, and the activities we got here are trying to bring together all the elements who pass through here in the five or six years of the war. Can you just tell us then when you're going to be open this weekend? Uh, Saturday and Sunday, 10 till 6. All welcome, come here early because we've been very busy today and we may be very busy on Saturday and Sunday. OK, thank you very much, Patrick. Can I just say um, adults £7.50, OAPs £6.50 and children £5.50 if you are thinking of coming. Now, I think there's no way we can go, but other 
than with a bang. And with luck, I think we can finish with a bang. And I'm going to put my fingers in my ears here. Good night from Kentwell Hall. <laughs> I think they got him. Not much of a hitchhiker, though, is he? Right, let's have some weather. What's that? Captain's Pond.